Right, uh, really though, uh, I think Spirit needs to go decap one of these mature wreck points. Heretic losses, they might not seem like a lot, but when you're not getting such a huge wreck income this late in the game, it's either reinforce your heretics or reinforce your bloodletters. And most players will go for the bloodletters, leaving their heretics to be very low HP and you can just kill them all. And it really does hurt when you lose one of your squads even if they're not combat efficient, just simply because of the capping power. Very true, very true. But Spirit has done a good job of keeping Noev off of his power, while Spirit has a four gens of his own, meaning that he's going to be able to tech to tier three. Oh, there it is now and pump out something like Terminators to really make a difference in this game. Whoop, there it is. Hey, I, I have something funny to say. Today is the day of the Day 9 launch party, and guess it's not going- Oh, that's right, black. I hate you so much. I was supposed to go meet Day 9, all of that fun stuff, wave around an icy cap TV sign, but I have jury duty. Well, that is, jump into the ASMs as they cap, just doing some- as I like to say, terrible, terrible damage, because it's terrible, terrible damage, and terrible, terrible damage, and terrible... Oh my god, the smoke! Look oh at the god. smoke! You can't see into the smoke! Oh my god! I don't know what you were doing with your camera, but... yeah. I don't know, I don't even think there was smoke in that <laughs> <laughs> I remember when they were releasing patch notes for 1.4 and they were like, there's gonna be... This was during the terrible, terrible damage battle casts were being released. And they said that, you know, we have a special new map with a special feature on it, and it was Caldera's Refinery. And the screenshots show smoke vents, so everybody on other forums would go like, Oh my god, the smoke! You can't see into the smoke! Oh god, the smoke! But it turns out the special feature was that Caldera's Refinery could be played as a 1v1, 2v2, or 3v3 map. <laughs> Which is of debatable special importance. Yeah. Anyway, Noev gets a second Bloodletter squad out, and then goes to Tech 3. Looks like Spirit almost has enough for Termies, really. Uh, definitely hoarding the rat for it. Big engagement. I'm not though. sure if Termies will be a good choice here, because Sork will be able to grab Subjugate as soon as he goes tier 3 to turn those Termies against Spirit. And here comes the Terminators or a Drop Pod. I think it is Terminators. And there they are. Ooh. The Tech Marine goes down to the Bloodletters. Nicely the played blood there. God. And this is very nice usage of the infiltrate because Spirit has no actual detectors. Even if he can see them blinking red, these units are taking 20% less range damage because they still have an infiltration bonus. And here's the double infiltrate, so he can't really kill them without getting the detector to scout the squad. Is forced out now. The bloodletters go into melee, completely cloaked. Uh, Spirit is oblivious to this fact, and you know, forced to retreat. And his terminators have to pull back. They get the auto cannon. One of them refuses to teleport, so that screws up their pathing quite a bit. And it looks like Spirit is sent back home packing. And now Noev is free to gen bash if he so pleases. And 206 to 303 in Noev's favor. Although Noev's hero did go down there pretty needlessly. Yeah. Still a decisive win for him. Actually, both of them did go down. Master Treat from No Wave. Mark of Siege finally on these Chaos Space Marines. Those will do really, really good damage to basically everything Spirit's got, so wise choice there. I'm kind of interested that uh, these ASMs don't have a sergeant and are running out with one member only. Hmm. Yeah, that seems like a micro blunder on Spirit's part. The Sergeant is something you definitely need for ASMs once you hit tier 2. He adds more DPS, uh, more disruption potential since it's four entities instead of just three, and Merciless Strike can actually turn the favor of battle your way, especially against like Banshees or Hormagons, which are supposed to be ASMs in 1v1. But ASMs jump in, Merciless Strike, there goes half the HP of a Banshee squad if you it correctly. And it doesn't bug and, out, which it's prone to do, but... Yeah, they fix the bug out. Plus it does knockback, and the more knockback, the better. Especially if you're laying down ranged firepower, for sure. Mm -hmm. I wish there was a player camera feature. Yeah, that would be very nice. Go talk to Egon about that. 
Remember that Isaac Cup interview I said, how about more replay features like a certain other MMO, I mean a certain other RTS, and he says, <laughs> <laughs> MMO. I wouldn't put it past Kotick to try to make it MMO. Anyway, uh, oh god. Yeah, engagement in the middle. Scouts, nowhere to be seen. I'm actually surprised they've been alive this long. Usually they're dead by now. Yeah. Is also in base because they forgot to reinforce. And these attacks going down so quickly. Here comes this Libby speed. But those Mark of Zinch just tear them up. And now focusing on the Libby, never mind focusing on the scouts for whatever reason. And the tax for another whatever reason, decide to duke it out with only 100 HP. They're going to go down so quickly. Just a few pews from those uh, Inferno bolters, and they are gone. Yeah, but it looks like um, Chaos Global spawn blood letters, going, just focusing on these tacticals, and I mean the Terminators and the tacks now caught up in between these blood letters. But the blood letters focusing on the Terminators yet again. He could have wiped that squad so easily yep. had he just focused them. Yep, yep. And that was a really good use of spawn blood or letters to cut off a retreat path. Because Terminators can't retreat, they've got to do this awkward walk back to base thing. And that allows him to get quite a few extra hits in by forcing him to take a longer retreat path. Right, and Noe just has one, um, one hit. He's going to go around capping the VPs 147 to 260 in Noe today. Right? And it looks like this Terminator squad down to two members. Terminator squad gets away with 90. Oh, HP. Cultist squad almost goes down due to mark target and assault cannon terms. Assault squad back down to one member, and this is where like you just decap one of those wreck points. I mean, Spirit has no wreck anyway, but he's getting 324. If you decap one of those wreck points, he's down to two something, and he's just screwed no matter what. <laughs> like. <laughs> And it was really key to get some model losses on that Terminator squad, because they just take so much power and wreck to reinforce. So that's going to be a huge advantage for Noave. Right now, Noave is just at this gigantic advantage. All three VPs, dominant map control. This map, you can't really get the wreck easily. Well, at least one wreck acquisition is always pretty much going to be given to your enemy. There's this one and this one, which are easier to decap, but harder for the top to decap this one, simply because this is a shorter distance Deploying than all this. Sight. Relic, if you're watching this, fix, please, now. Indeed, indeed. That being said, look in this hot tub, this delicious looking hot tub, with the green heat. Very nidzy. My spawning pool. Cooler than you. No way, I mean, Spirit just trying to ninja cap. I'm surprised we haven't seen tanks from anybody yet. No way, definitely has the resources to pull one out soon. He only has 188 wreck because of the upkeep, and that's where, you know, capping another wreck point would come in handy, but seeing as there is only four, and the bottom has an easy way to defend them, especially if it's a ranged army. Mm -hmm. And Subjugate has come up on the Sorcerer, so I expect that to be popped down on those Terminators as soon as a major engagement plays out. For sure. Uh, no, Spirit hasn't been dropping many mines. I think mines would still be useful in this situation. But yeah. you get the marked target armor. It would be interesting to see if he just swapped them, you know, swapped armors out, depending on his needs. Yeah. An interesting thing to do there is just to switch every time you cast the Mark Target ability. So you can get the health regeneration as the fight goes on. And it's something I've experimented with to debatable success. 